Well, hey guys, exciting times here at the shop tonight. Today we are ready to announce a complete kit for the four piece indexing set. Prior to today, we had a digital PDF download of all the drawings if you want to make your own indexing plates this is the complete drawing package eight pages all the uh, individual indexing plates completely dimensioned uh, build notes instructions for use examples of uses for it etc that's been around for a while PDF digital download. Now, tonight, we are ready to announce that we have the complete kit available. Laser cut. Plates. All the hardware needed. Some build notes, instructions for use. These are laser cut, 3 8 thick plate, the two hexagonal, and the two octagonal plates. Now you receive these as they come off the, la the laser table. They require some cleanup and you have to drill and tap for the 1024 set screw. Hey guys, let's review what the indexing plates are all about. These plates allow you to place features around the circumference of a circular part evenly spaced around the circumference. You can do features, you can do two, three, four, six, or eight features around the circumference depending if you use the octagonal or the hexagonal indexing plates. The larger plates have a 2 inch capacity and the smaller ones a 1 inch capacity. These allow you to index or clock the shaft at 60 or 45 degree increments. The kit contains these plates directly as they've come off the laser cutting table. They need a little TLC, a little uh, a few minutes work with a file, fine file or a stone to clean up these edges, there's where the laser starts and stops. There's a that's the most serious uh, burr there, at. and also you have to do the drilling and tapping for the 1024 set screw that come in the kit. This is the uh, drawings that come with the kit. Uh, this is an example of how the indexing plates are used on a, say, a milling table or a drill press table. The indexing plate is secured on the Secure it onto the stock with the set screw. 
and a machinist square is used to index the plate and the mill table. You index it, go ahead and drill your hole or mill your flat or mill your slot, whatever feature it is. And then release the vise, turn the stock in the vise, line up your next edge, tighten up the vise, go ahead and then do your next feature. There's no actual cutting forces at all on the index plate. It's simply there to allow you to clock the stock around in the vise or on directly on the mill table or drill press table. Let's clean up one of the plates as it comes and uh, I'll give you an idea what's involved there. Okay, we have the one of the indexing plates in the in the vise here. This is the uh, that worst point I was saying where the laser comes in and out. So we just want to make sure we don't change the angle. We don't I'm rushing here for the camera. But you can take your time, get a coffee. to the beginning. You can run a file around the inside edge. Not really necessary, but it does give it a nicer feel. Okay, over to the mill. I tend to get okay, guys. We're over at the mill now. We are going to drill and tap for the set screw that will go in the top of the index plate that, so it can be mounted to the work. Here's the crotch where the work will sit. So our set screw will go opposite that, giving us three points of contact on the work. So I've got a parallel in the vise keeping me high up off the off the jaw so that we can indicate off the points here. I have the uh, six-sided indexer so we'll we'll find the the center of this top face where we're working opposite the crotch 
we're going to use our ball bearing edge finder. That's a three piece kit. You can see it mounted on the side of my milling machine there. Three piece kit available at the store. I'm going to bring you in. Okay, we've got our ball bearing edge finder set up. I've got you in here nice and close. We'll run it about a thousand RPM and we'll find this first edge. see that we're on it so lightly that the bearing is still turning that we found that edge. So I'm going to uh, zero my y-axis. We'll come around the back. side. So Y half, raise my quill, move my table to zero on the DRO. Lock my Y axis and we'll find the find the X. there that's the very edge uh, so X0 come around the far side of course we don't need this kind of precision at all to locate our hole. We could have just used a sharpie and marked it out. But might as well use our ball bearing edge finder kit. enough drag on there to slow the bearing down. X a half. Center drilled first. Now this is a number 25 drill bit. Okay. 
Ik heb ook een Okay, guys, the tapping went. Where are you? <sighs> the tapping went well. I uh, just uh, cleaned up the 1024. Here's our set screw. It's a 332nd Allen key. There we have it, ready for use. That's it for tonight, guys. Complete kits are available at the store. Link in the description. Fun project. Useful tool for your shop. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Enjoy your shop time. Mm -hmm.